so your boyfriend is convinced you gave him a kidney. I know I should set him straight. He's being so helpful and attentive for the first time since he got sick. He cleaned, he made me dinner last night. Lindsay, he shaved. He never shaves. I know. But I'm beginning to feel guilty and I feel like I should tell him it wasn't me. I mean, what do you think? Why tell him now? You slaved over him during all that dialysis crap. Now it's his turn to slave over you. I don't want to take advantage. I mean, just think about this for a second. This little misunderstanding has given you, like, total control over James. I don't know if I use the word total. You got him to watch The Notebook. Uh, true. And despite working as his maid, cook, and butler for the past six months, you want to give all that up and go back to normal? Sweetie. In what you would call a normal relationship, one person holds the upper hand at any given time. You've seen this with Philip and I. Although in my case, I'd say I'm in charge, say 80% of the time, and that's rounding down a plus. Sounds about right. But in your case, the power has never shifted through the natural ebb and flow of coupledom. He's held the reins like some kind of dictatorial bastard. Don't be nasty, he's been sick. Fine, like some benevolent, Quinta leader whose kidney failed. Now, not only do you have the power, you don't ever have to give it back. Are you ready for James to start living the life you've always wanted him to? No. I'm beginning to like the idea. So the doctor said, speak of the devil? Right as Katie walked in. And you think that was her way of telling you she's the donor? Yeah, it's confidential information, so she can only drop hints. But no confirmation. What else do you need? I'm not experiencing any signs of organ rejection. That's got to count for something. Besides, I've always said that Katie and I, we're, uh... Not symbiotic. It's symbiotic, exactly. Or she could just be getting back at you for six months of emotional and physical stress. I mean, you've been operating just above the level of a vegetable. It wasn't that bad for her. Not that bad. You didn't leave her apartment or shower for a week on more than one occasion. And speaking of showers, have you seen it? Seen what? The scar? Dude, we haven't had sex since the surgery. What? I haven't felt up for it. I'm sure she's not in the mood either. If Lindsay gave you a kidney, you think she'd still be asking for it? Uh, yeah. Okay, good point. Lindsay's freaky. At least 20% of the time. Look, just be happy for me. I have somebody who cares about me enough to literally give me a piece of themselves. This has literally brought us closer together. Yeah, it has. Because now you're her, how can I say this delicately? Her kidney bitch. Fine. I'm her kidney bitch. I can live with that. Maybe I was taking her for granted before the surgery. Hell, maybe I wasn't even the greatest boyfriend before that. What? But she's proven she really loves me. And now she's gonna make you prove how much you really love her. I do love her. Look, I was blessed by an Apache shaman once, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. At least with a woman scorned, you know what to expect. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, you go bananas from carrying the entire load of relationship chores until you finally get to a point where you try to walk out. I'd never want to leave Katie. Well, even if you did. Well, I won't. Well, even if you did, you wouldn't be able to. Not while her kidney's still inside you. <laughs>